Hey guys, today you're going to get yourself a portrait. You're going to need to get a strip off of the front counter and you're going to need a little itty bitty paintbrush. The very first thing we need to do is we're going to use this strip of paper to draw a bunch of lines all over our self portrait. So when I'm doing this, I'm going to start off by going vertical. I'm just going to fill up that entire self portrait with vertical lines. I know it's kind of hard to see the lines that I'm doing. But notice that when I put it down, I draw a line, and then I slide it back over and I line it up with that line again. All right, so that way my lines are always about the same thickness. And when I draw my line, I try to keep it just in my shirt, all right? So from shirt down the bottom of my shirt or just within the drawing. So I'm ready to draw another vertical line. I'm lining it up. And I can draw, so this one's going to have to go way to the top. I need to do this all over my paper. I can switch colors too. Don't need to just stick to one. But make sure these lines are super nice and straight. You'll notice that right here, I drew a line but I forgot to actually bring it all the way up here. So I'm going to line this back up. I need to draw a line way up here. So if you have part of your self-portrait that skips that area, like from your shoulder to your head, you need to make sure that you go in and get that line drawn as well. After I've drawn a bunch of vertical lines, now I can start doing some horizontal and some diagonal lines. Once again, I can continue to switch colors if I would like. You need to make sure that you do this in crayon though because that crayon is going to help us hold that paint in when we go to paint later on. So maybe I'll go horizontal to start off with. Do a few rows of that. Once again, always lining it up so that way it keeps those squares kind of small. After I've done some horizontals, maybe I want to turn it and do some diagonals now. Line them up, diagonal, diagonal, lining it up each time. They want to do some diagonals going the other direction. So I could line it up all the way over here and then these ones could be kind of longer. I could do a horizontal over here. Continue adding diagonals and horizontals to your artwork after you've done those verticals. Always lining up my strip each time I do it. That way I know that they're straight and they're about the same with each time. You do your whole self-portrait like this. This is going to give us a bunch of different squares and things to color next time. When you get this far, you are done for the day. Remember I started doing verticals all the way across, lining up that strip every time I slid it over for a new line. I always lined it up. When you get done doing a bunch of verticals, then you can do some horizontals. You can also see, do some diagonals, but you need to fill this up so that you get kind of like this grid. Next class, we can come in and we can use some watercolor then to fill these in. When you're done, these go on the drying rack.